let's talk about this new asteroid that's not so new, but the new information about the Bennu asteroid. So NASA ups the odds of Bennu asteroid hitting Earth. This is from The Hill. Uh, a NASA, I, you know, they're good for this kind of stuff, I'll tell you that. A NASA scientist said Wednesday that the likelihood of the Bennu asteroid hitting Earth within the next century or two has increased. However, uh, David For, uh, Farnochia stressed that Earthlings shouldn't be too worried. Scientists previously said the odds of Bennu would strike the Earth into 2020, uh, 2200, so it's not for quite some time, uh, was 1 in 2700. Okay, first off, that's those are pretty good odds, okay? I know it's it's not that much, but I mean, in the scheme of things, that's those are pretty good odds. But those figures were adjusted to 1 in 1750 into the year 2030. Okay, so it's pushed back, but they increased the odds? Interesting, interesting. Farnochia works with the NASA J uh, JPL in Southern California and told reporters that the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, which landed on Bennu in 2018 to collect samples, has given them a better idea of the asteroid's future orbital path, according to the wire service. The spacecraft is slated to arrive back on Earth in 2023. We shouldn't be too worried about it too much, uh, Farnochia said, who was the lead author of the findings, which were published in the Icarus Journal. Scientists say that Bennu will get within close proximity of the planet by the year 2135. Scientists said that the Earth's gravity could affect Bennu's orbit and create a collision with the planet in the next two centuries. However, they said that based on the data from OSIRIS-REx spacecraft, the chances of gravity interfering with this trajectory are slimmer now. Uh, Lindley Johnson, a planetary defense officer for NASA, predicted that if the Earth was struck by the asteroid, the amount of area destroyed would be equal to the asteroid's side 100-fold, according to the AP. If the asteroid hit the east coast of the U.S., it would pretty much devastate things up and down the coast. Oh, okay, that would, uh, that would suck. But I gotta say, I was looking into this OSIRIS-REx, um spacecraft and it's pretty cool what this thing did i kind of have a fondness for the name osiris it's the name of my cat he is the coolest osiris out there i know it's probably not the uh, there is a lot of osiris cats out there but he's the coolest one i must say uh, so this one osiris rex it's kind of cool because i love dinosaurs also and my cat's name is osiris so you know i definitely like this thing anyway i've got this I, I've, this is the NASA.gov website about it, and I just want to play this one clip. This is when it so actually them, hit. Within one... You'll see it, it, and we got another another version too. This is one camera, and you can see it just blowing up. And then this is us. That's humanity punching an asteroid. That's right. We just punched an asteroid. Yo. I love it. We just punched an asteroid. That's awesome. This thing's coming back in two years, and we're gonna have that. We're gonna have that stuff on us. But man, this thing is cool, right? This this thing is awesome. This uh, spacecraft. Let me back up. Let me just show you guys a little bit more about it. Um, let's see. Where is that? Where did I see that information that showed how it landed? You know, it was in a video. I'll just I'll just tell you by memory. So essentially, what it did was it picked different points and used machine learning to land itself well it didn't land it more you saw it it punched <laughs> we punched a, an asteroid via robotics it's pretty cool to think about it it's kind of like the the very beginning of gundam right no a man can dream anyway it used these points as kind of uh, references so that it could remain still in its trajectory down it had boosters and everything bringing itself down and into the and it basically did like a, a grab and run. It grabbed the money and ran, you know? So uh, it was really interesting to see. And this, this happened back in 2018. Uh, so we'll see. It's on its way back. It'll be here in two years or a year and a half, I guess. Uh, we'll see. So I'm really excited about it. And remember to, to go check out the Perseid meteor shower. Uh, it is going hot. They say, let's see, 
The Perseids, considered to be the best meteor shower of the year, are active until August 24th, but it peaked the night of August 11th and the morning of August 12th. Uh, so it's still, we're very close to the peak. So if you have the chance, get outside, look up at the stars. Hopefully you're in a dark area so you can, uh, and have a clear sky. So you can look up and see some incredible Perseid showers. Uh, go check them out. You can get up to 50 an hour. That, that's a lot. Uh, so it's really cool. I, I'm out in the boonies. Before my show, I, I went and checked and it, there's no clouds in the sky. So I think tonight's going to be like really dark. I'm really excited about it.